Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky crazy kids in love and love doing some trailer reactions together. We are kooky and crazy. Yes, we are. Kooky, crazy, and that's just who we are, people. And we also are very excited because DC Fandom happened this uh, weekend and Batman came out with the second trailer. Ah! We saw the first one last year around this time, so we're excited to see the second one. There's a lot of hype about it and we can't wait to check it out. Yeah, there's so many nice shots in this one. There's so, it's like... The cinematography's amazing. Mm-hmm. Alright, so uh, that was... That was great, and um, it was even better than the first uh, trailer for it, which we yeah. were hyped about after the first one. Kudos to Robert Pattinson. I think there's, you know, there's a lot of people out there, maybe... maybe I don't know if there's a lot of people, but I think I heard some chatter about, you know, not... Believe in maybe he was too young. I mean, he's, he's in his 30s, but I mean, um, like that. I don't think there's. I think there's some doubt about Robert Pattinson. I think yeah. hopefully this this uh, quashes all that because I think. He, I mean, from this, he looks amazing. I mean, there have been some maybe surprising choices for Batman in the past. My personal doubt in Robert Pattinson was I just haven't seen him bring a lot of gravitas to hmm. roles, and I think that Batman is a role that deserves. Gravitas. Yeah. Um, you know, Christian Bale brought that in his version. True. And those are some big shoes to fill. So I was, I was, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I was one of the doubters. <laughs> um, that being said, the first trailer blew me away. This one, equally, if not more so. Um, I, I think it kind of told me where I could put my opinion for doubting him because he looks very badass in this. And like you said at the end of the trailer, I have to shout out the cinematography on this. Yeah. Um, I, I, feel like I need to go and look up and see who did the cinematography because I don't know offhand, but some of those shots were just very worthy of a superhero film of this caliber. So I'm I'm excited to see more. And this looks even darker than the Nolan verse uh, Batman. It looks like they're even going kind of like with an even grittier version of it, um, which I'm on board for and I'm excited for. Uh, so it looks like the villains are uh, the, the Riddler's in it. I think Penguin. And I assume that that was Catwoman. Yeah, that's what I assume as well. But... Um, that she was wearing when she came out of the car. I'm like, those mm. only Catwoman's gonna pull off those boots. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm super excited. I think I honestly am more interested in the Riddler storyline in this than I was in Penguin, um, just because 
the setup to him was more intriguing. Yeah. I'm curious if they're going to have anybody teamed up with Batman as he's facing multiple villains. Like, mm -hmm. it kind of looked like maybe Catwoman was. Yeah, that's but probably. as we all know, Catwoman's always been out for herself. So I, I'm not sure if she's a reliable person or if she would be a turncoat at some point in the film, which could keep it we'll very see. exciting. You referenced it being darker than Christopher Nolan. Yes. And then you referenced it being grittier. I think I'm not convinced by the trailer that it's darker necessarily, okay. but I would absolutely agree with you that it's grittier. I think that Christopher Nolan's was a polished version mm. of the real darkness of like what Gotham can be. Um, and I love the idea that they're exploring, no, Gotham's not polished. It is gritty. It is dirty. It mm -hmm. is dark in, in a way that's that's not, you can't put a pretty polished facade on it. It's, it's going to be rough. Um, so I'm really curious as, as to how this looks because I'm, I think this might hit the nail on the head. And I'm a big fan of the Christopher Nolan films. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Those, those are amazing, and uh, we can't wait to check this out. We're going to check out some more of the, uh, of the trailers that DC dropped this weekend. So, uh, yeah, um, I, I can't wait. <laughs> Me neither. You've seen our reaction to the Batman official trailer number two. Just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.